Jose squinted at the peculiar object protruding from the creek bank. It was shaped like a giant, misshapen bowl, its surface covered in intricate, almost alien markings. He nudged it with his boot, feeling a strange sense of unease. Reina, he called, his voice raspy. Come, look at this. His wife, Reina, a woman with eyes as deep and warm as the earth itself, hurried over. She gasped, her hand flying to her mouth. What is it, Jose? I don't know, he admitted, his voice laced with a mixture of awe and apprehension. But it feels ancient. Together, they dug the object free, revealing a massive, intricately patterned shell. It was unlike anything they had ever seen. Fear mingled with fascination, prompting them to call the police. The officers, initially skeptical, were soon captivated by the strange find. They contacted the local university, and within days, a team of archaeologists arrived. Across the world, in Michigan, James Bryle, a farmer of sturdy build and quiet demeanor, was struggling to complete the digging of a natural gas pipeline across his soybean field. His heavy machinery hit something solid, sending a shudder through the ground. He jumped down, brushing away the soil, revealing a bone unlike any he had ever seen. It was massive, thick, and unlike any bone of a creature he knew. He knew, deep down, that he had stumbled upon something significant. We need to get some help with this, he told his crew, his voice surprisingly firm. This might be something big. News of both discoveries spread like wildfire. News channels across the globe were buzzing with the stories of the strange finds. The internet was abuzz with speculation. A new dinosaur, an alien artifact, a forgotten civilization? One day, while browsing the internet, James stumbled upon an article about the giant turtle shell discovered in Argentina. The images of the shell, with its intricate markings, sent a chill down his spine. He felt a strange kinship with a farmer in Argentina, a feeling he couldn't explain. A feeling that was echoed by Jose, who had seen news of the strange bones unearthed in Michigan. When the archaeologists confirmed that James had discovered the remains of a giant ground sloth, the similarities between the two discoveries became undeniable. Both fossils were incredibly rare, dating back millions of years. Both were found on the same day, by two ordinary men who were simply trying to make a living. 